our other friends. Bring them here, now. Welcome to episode 709, The Flock, written by the great Alyssa Clark. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Jason. I love your purple hair. It's very on brand. I haven't had purple in a long time, but I found my home. Yeah, it's lovely. And directed by Amin Katalari, a first time for us. Great director, really, really wonderful guy. Uh, can't wait for you to see his work. Yeah, we had a great time. He, we, uh, we had some challenges, but I think Amin really stepped up. For all mankind. For all mankind. Echo and Octavia and Dioza have become disciples. WTF, how did that happen? I'm about to open your eyes to the truth of our cause. This is really the story of how that happened. Right. And, you know, they're all in a place where they've been captured on this new planet. They don't really know how it works. And this is the episode where we really get to learn about the world of Bardo. The Bardoans lost their last war. This is all that is left. They see what has happened outside the planet, which is really, really rad. What happened to the Bardoans? What happened to this race of of, you know, for lack of a better word, aliens, what happened to them? And could that be the fate of all of us? You know, that those are questions that are asked, I think, uh, in this episode, starting right at the top. Right, I really like that it connects, you know, it all connects to our bigger story, which is really exciting. We need to break them of their bonds or they'll keep choosing to fight for each other instead of all mankind. They need to have faith in the cause above all. We explore the culture of the disciples, you know, and how did their society evolve to have no emotion? They clearly are not a society of emotionally expressive people. And I think, I think that's really cool with our characters who are roiling with emotion after finding out the fate of Bellamy. I mean, Echo, she carved her face in reaction to what happened to Bellamy. I had such a good time working with Taz. She's a, I love that she, plays Echo, who's this very stern, you know, holds her emotions down except for anger. And she herself as a person is just a laughing, dancing, a hilarious person. This season, I went to her and I said, you know, you're going to have to step up. You are going to, like, so much of the story is going to now revolve around your mission to get to Bellamy. And she just embraced it and elevated her game. She's really, really incredible. I can't wait for people to see this episode, but really the entire season. I'm gone for half a day, and now the palace is surrounded with armed cogs and convicts. Mickey has joined with Nelson and they've taken hostages in the Great Hall and they want payback, they want revenge. Shade Hater won't just volunteer for this. Well, then I guess we'll have to persuade the bastard. There is a moment in the episode with Shade Hata and with Indra having to work together right now in a plan. I feel like this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. There was a moment when the look Adina gives, I think we all just broke out into applause. Like it was just incredible. I got I got shivers, you know. They're getting rowdy. We should get them out of here. I got it handled. 